Hey guys, it's Dragon Ball for Life here. Today I want to talk about Master Roshi uh, obtaining a bit of Ultra Instinct in the you know Dragon Ball Super manga. Now before I get into that, I do this video is going to be kind of short, so I do want to say that I am planning on making a couple of bigger videos and some more uh, you know. I have some bigger projects in mind, though it is going to take some time to do some re research. So it's going to take a while for me to bring it out. But yeah, I'm thinking of a couple of big ideas. It's just going to take some time to, you know, research some stuff, do some extra stuff behind the scenes. But yeah, I, I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but you guys are going to definitely enjoy uh, what it's going to be. It's going to be a couple of them I'm going to have, and then I'm going to do a couple of other stuff. But these are going to be a lot of big projects. Hopefully the videos aren't too long, though usually my videos sometimes are very long, but hopefully those videos aren't too long, but they're going to be very in-depth and they're going to be something that you guys are going to really enjoy. So let's get into this uh, video and this topic. Now, Master Roshi obtaining the Ultra Instinct in the manga was weird. Now, I will be honest, I didn't read the manga. I've only started reading the manga after, you know... Uh, Dragon Ball Super, the show ended. Once when, you know, they were getting to uncharted territories with um, Moro and then the granola arc and stuff that's when I started to actually read the manga books before I would just watch the anime I didn't care to read the manga itself even though it was different I just felt like uh, I preferred to just rather watch the anime than just go and read the manga and read a completely like the story all over again from the beginning just read a completely different perspective so yeah I didn't read the manga but I do remember when this came out and I remember seeing the chapters and I remember the anger that a lot of people had because of you know Master Roshi being able to obtain such a high level technique it's a technique that is usually reserved for the gods and the only other person that obtained it we saw was Goku but Goku's the main character and he's shown to you know be a very powerful character especially since he was training with Whis to uh, obtain it so when Master Roshi came out of left field with it it was kind of BS especially the fact that he used this against you know Jiren he like when he got into the fight against Jiren and stuff he literally like Jiren tried to attack him and then he's dodging his hits and stuff and he's able to maneuver all of his attacks even though he's way faster than him uh, I guess the argument could be there is he didn't expect him to be able to do it like that but still it was acknowledged by the gods and then this is in the manga this is how Goku gets the inspiration to Ultra Instinct and how he's able to you know utilize it later on whereas in the anime it's just once he falls into the you know the I, I forgot what, uh, yeah the spirit bomb when he fell into it and like absorbed the energy it awakened this power within him whereas in that one he just saw Master Roshi doing it and did it and a lot of people call BS on Master Roshi being able to do it personally I also agree that it was BS and the arguments people were making were kind of like they were kind of stupid excuses people were saying oh it makes sense that he would be able to you know do this he's he's the first one he's Goku's master so he's trained more and two he's way older he's 300 years old so it makes sense but then I like think about the logic of it for one it does not matter if that he was his master. I don't know why the people are so stuck on the past. It's been past that. Master Roshi trained him a long time ago. He's had other masters. He had King Kai. He had, uh, you know, he had, uh, he has Whis now. He has, these, he has these other people and he's trained before, way after him, you know. So stop saying, well, he's his master. That doesn't mean, make sense. That doesn't mean anything. Just because he was his prior or first master doesn't mean that he has the rights to, you know, be able to obtain these forms just simply out of the blue. It's just ridiculous for me personally with the, that aspect. It didn't really make much sense. Um, the thing about it is people saying that it's like, well, don't the reason why it makes sense for Goku to obtain it is because for one, like I said, he surpassed Master Roshi a long time. He's He's been fighting more continuously than him. And Master Roshi, when he did fight, I highly doubt he fought against such threats as Goku did. And this is not uh, talking about it power-wise. This is talking about skill-wise because he fought these guys and he, these guys were on a different level of like skill and technique and stuff. So he should have been able to have a better chance in that. Also, Whis was directly training him to obtain it. Whereas Master Roshi just out of nowhere pulled it out of his ass. Is you're, you're, you're telling me that he was trained for those 300 years to obtain Ultra Instinct? Just stop. That is BS. Goku, people want to say, well, it doesn't make sense. Goku got it. He was younger. Yeah, but Goku's being trained directly by a guy who understands it and mastered it. And he's giving him all these tips and he's focusing on obtaining it. Whereas Master Roshi just randomly pulled it out of his ass. He didn't even know about it. So it's like, how would he be doing this? So that doesn't make sense. Also, the argument that he's old and stuff. It's like, here's the problem with that. Look at somebody like Beerus. 
So Mary Beerus is not only a godly being, not only is he trained by Whis, uh, who is, you know, a mastered uh, Ultra Instinct and should know it best, but he also is way older than him. He's like millions upon millions of years old. He's hundreds of millions of years old. Well, this guy's only 300 years old. If we're trying to go by that logic, Beerus should have mastered Ultra Instinct a long time ago. And, you know, he shouldn't have, he should have been past, you know, Goku when it comes to Ultra Instinct training. So yeah, that's kind of BS, stop with that. Like, if we're using that logic as just older, then Hit should also, because he's a thousand years old, so Hit should have attained it too. It doesn't matter about age, it matters about specifically if they knew about it, if they were training for it, what they did to it. We don't see him do any of this stuff. He just comes into the tournament power and randomly he's able to whip this out against Jiren. Whereas Goku's one, he was training since the beginning of Super when you know we start training him about Ultra Instinct. They even mentioned it the first time when Goku tried to you know attack Beerus and he, his body moved back and he mentions it. They were already hinting at Ultra Instinct since the beginning, but Master Roshi just out of nowhere comes out of it. That's why I think that a lot of stuff that people give Tori Taro and you know the manga a lot of credit saying is better than the anime. And I will say in some regards it is, but there are some aspects that I feel like some people are just ignore about the manga and say, yeah, the manga is great and then the anime is bad. This was a terrible moment in the manga. It was just as bad as the anime. Actually, even worse than that because the anime wouldn't even attempt that. Like, this thing was ridiculous. The fact that Master Roshi was able to obtain this simply because he was old and Goku's master. Like, like I said, Beerus, of that, by that logic, Beerus, he, he's more trained of a martial artist. He's been around way, way longer. He trained way more. I know some people would say, well, he sleeps a lot and he eats a lot and does this. Yeah. But he still has lived for hundreds of millions of years. You really think the amount of time he sleeps and eat and uh, lazies around takes away from all the amount of time he trains? Even if he trains like one tenth of the amount of time that he lived, it would still be exponentially way more than you know Master Roshi could ever reach. So I just feel like it was kind of BS for Master Roshi to obtain such a high level and high technique. Uh, even though he never trained for it, he didn't even really know much about it. And on top of that, his age doesn't really matter since there are beings out there that are way older than him and who are, you know, constantly in combat and way more skilled that didn't obtain it. I mean, look at Master Roshi. He's lazy himself. This guy lounges around just, you know, he did, he just he just screwing around on his island. So you're telling me that a guy screws around on his island can obtain this just like that and Beerus couldn't with Whis's, uh, you know, help? And not just even Beerus. The, most of the other gods of destruction, not all of them, I think, but most of them don't have an even mastered, you know, Ultra Instinct. So don't try to say, well, compared to Goku, but here's the thing. Goku actually trained for it. Goku's a far better uh, martial artist. Goku's able to learn abilities a little easier. Master Roshi took 50 years to, uh, you know, do the Kamehameha. Goku saw that one time, did it. Obviously, it was in, in, uh, in perfected form, but he does it perfectly afterwards. Master Roshi's not on their level. Master Roshi cannot even fly, but he can do that. It's just ridiculous. I'm sorry, anybody. I feel like there's a lot of people who love Master Roshi so much and just ignore any ridiculousness like in, you know, Resurrection of F. So yeah, I disagree. I don't think he should have been obtaining it. Should have obtained it just because he's older and stuff like that. That is a piss poor excuse. Uh, Goku made sense. And if you want to use that argument that I can just use, you know, Hit or somebody like um, Beerus or the other guys of destruction who are, you know, a high level of skill and have lived longer than him. So, and I'm specifically trained for this. So that doesn't really count. So yeah. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was shorter. I will be dropping out these bigger videos. I don't know if it will be tomorrow or whatever. I'll have to do some research, you know, pick up some, get some images off of uh, my laptop to put in the video. But yeah, um, I think that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed.